Hello everyone, I'm Todd Fry, the CEO and founder of ECS Solar. Uh, today we're going to be talking to you about shared financial models, what those mean, how to define those, where you'll see them, and the application of those uh, financial models in the industry. Our business, we're an 11-year-old company. We focus mostly on distributed generation, commercial community solar. That's really where we play. I think a lot of these discussions are relevant for utility scale solar as well, uh, but let's jump into it. So first of all, defining what is a shared model. A model is a financial pro forma about, in this case, project finance opportunities and energy properties. A model could have dozens, if not hundreds of toggles within it, various risk and deal points that go into the complex act of financial modeling energy assets over decades long. One of the things to keep out with a shared model is, is it truly a shared model? Are there hidden macros that you cannot see? Are there hidden formulas that are locked in behind closed doors? If so, I question, is that truly a shared model? But let's jump into it in the three ways where those may come up into your renewable energy business. We'll talk a little bit about each one of those. Number one, in the early stage. So there are some development platforms, especially ones that um, may be newer, maybe don't have the capital resource. At the very early stage, the early maturation of developing an energy asset, they may bring in a third party partner, a third party capital. When a shared model comes into the picture, the number one question we ask um, here at ECA is, can we get the fair market value of the asset once it is uh, development complete, once that asset is mature? For the most part, we've decided the answer to that is no. However, if there are other folks that are entertaining JDAs and early stage capital, I would expect there will be some type of a shared model. In addition, we find that it affects, uh, it's a bit of a perversion when it comes to timeline. So the investor, the independent power producer, the institution may have less urgency in advancing the project in a timely fashion. And so, um, yeah, the partner or the recipient of that capital may feel that and notice that. That's something to be aware of. We don't play in that space, so we don't have any exposure there. We self-fund our development. We also work with a private credit lender. It's not a risk that we felt comfortable with taking, primarily because of, you know, some of the brain damage associated with that, that, you know, pops up in the matter of disputes and the matter of funding and ultimately um, the hurdle return. So let's shift gears and go to bucket number two, which is talking about shared models in the context of project sales so a purchase and sale agreement for an energy property it could be renewable maybe not here we find it much much less common uh, to even get asked to use a shared model we inform our buyers and the folks that we work with the institutions on the buy side that's not our model it doesn't work for us no hard feelings but we're going to go in a different direction by the time we reach development complete or close to it um, we're even close to a shovel ready moment of ntp the risks have been addressed. We've gotten utility approvals. We've gotten uh, government permit approvals. We've done real estate work uh, in the context of ECA. We often buy the real estate. So at the end of the day, um, we're not willing to sign up for a whole suite of variables at the point of selling a project, usually at or near um, the fulfillment of the conditions precedent. And then the third bucket, I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time talking about it, but it's in the operation phase, right? And so there I would, I would expect some type of a shared model, some type of true up mechanism where that equity investor in that energy asset that is operating, that is post COD, will have some mechanism of hitting their hurdle rate, their preferred rate of return. And so there you may expect to see um, an additional model and a true up mechanism for that. Um, that's a wrap. Again, this is Todd Fry at ECA Solar. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, look forward to more sessions.